and just getting really really comfortable and we're just going to do a, a little breathe this afternoon a little gratitude breathe as i'm uh, feeling the gratitude this week for sure um if you didn't know i think i've gone on about it a lot so you probably do but i'm part of um something called the school breathe program and we've been launching um school breathe love a campaign that's running through the whole of february and we are going to try and raise money and raise awareness um, because we want to train 100 teachers um, for free. So we're trying to raise awareness and, um, and raise money so we can train these teachers to train um, or teach rather um, children in schools um, the power of breathing exercises. And um, yeah, that's our, that's our campaign and we're focused on it for the whole of February. Um, and we've already started to uh, raise quite a bit of money, so really excited. And But we're gonna run the campaign for the whole year, but it's School Breathe Love, because we're mainly focused on it for February, and especially on February 14th. There's loads of things going on, loads of classes, um, people kind of donating money from classes that they're teaching, and we're doing loads of little breathwork classes, and we're gonna share loads of breathing exercises and loads of techniques um, throughout February um, to share and to raise awareness and um, yeah and that's it really so that's why I'm feeling the gratitude because I've had lots of people get in touch so they really want to be part of the campaign and they want to help um, raise money or they just want to spread the word which is just amazing actually just having people spread the word is just yeah absolutely brilliant so yeah thank you gratitude to all of those people if you uh, watch this that have contributed so far. We are super, super grateful. And I just think actually for me, if I'd learned things like this, things like breath work when I was at school, I actually think it would have been just amazing. So beneficial to then go into adult life um, in the workplace and then as a parent to have learned how to um, manage things like anxiety I used to have a lot of anxiety and um, still do, it still rears its head, but I think about if I'd learned breath work at school and how amazing that would have been, um, just you know going through life and learning that and learning how to hack my nervous system and calm myself down. And um, I just think it would have been amazing. And I just want every single child to that goes to school to just grow up learning how to you know make themselves feel calm and you know regulate their emotions and um yeah i just think it's just such an amazing cause and that's why i'm such a big part of it so yeah anyway i'll stop talking about school breathe love now and let's have a, a little breathe and um we're going to have a little um hug breathe <laughs> so you could hug someone and do this but you don't need to to get the oxytocin you just hug yourself <laughs> So just crossing your arms, just to hug yourself, so you can pop your arms here, and you still get that oxytocin hit by, um... oh, lovely, yes, yes. And in fact, I'm um, sorry, I'm gonna go about, someone's just asked me a question on the notes about School Breathe. It is international, we've got um, schools on board. We've got 45 schools in the UK. Um, we've got schools in Australia. So it is, it's an online teaching program, so we, we, it can go to any country. So anyway, get in touch, send me a, a DM. Okay, so um, back to our little breathe now. So just crossing your arms. So you could just hold yourself here or you could really go for it and cross your arms completely and have your hands up here. Just whatever feels really nice for you. I just want you to hug yourself. So you're just gonna get that really nice kind of oxytocin um, hit. And the breath work we're gonna do is something called coherence breathing. It's really, really super simple. And what we're doing is we're inhaling for the count of six and exhaling for the count of six. And you might have heard of coherence breathing. It's to do with, it's the perfect coherence of all our um, body, our heart, our lungs, everything to work in perfect cohesion. And um, that's why it's called coherence breath. And it um, slows the, the rate of our um, breaths per minute as well. So it sends us into a really nice kind of rest and digest um, relaxation part of our nervous system. It slows the heart rate down, um, lowers the blood pressure, and it's quite it's quite a nice balancing breath as well. So, if you're feeling kind of a bit up in your head, it just gently brings you down. And if you're feeling a little bit sluggish, a bit slow, and need a bit of energy, it just it brings you up a little bit. So it's a really nice balancing breath too. 
So just seated or lay down and um, just closing your eyes or just lowering them if you prefer. And first of all, you're just gonna check in with your own breath. So you're just gonna work out where the breath lies within your body. And it's easier to do this, um, just lay it down with your eyes closed. So just doing that now. And just breathing through your nose. And just start to notice the temperature of the air as you're inhaling and seeing where it flows, seeing if you can notice it flowing down your throat, down your chest and seeing if it reaches the belly. And this um, exercise we're doing with the hug is actually kind of cool as well because if you are an upper chest breather, so you just breathe up in your chest, you're more likely to be in the nervous system, makes you feel quite anxious. Um, what this exercise does by holding your breath, you can really focus on breathing into the belly. So not almost not letting the breath in the chest, almost. I mean, you do want to be a little bit because you want it balanced out. But having the hands here as well, you can just really breathe into the belly and really focus on breathing into the belly and just holding your chest here and making sure that you haven't just got a lot of movement in the chest, that the movement is down deep into the belly. So that's why I like this one, apart from it's nice to give yourself a hug, nice bit of oxytocin, it really helps if you're an upper chest breather. So hopefully you're feeling nice, calm, nice and relaxed at the moment and just checking your breath, where your breath is in your belly. And just start to slow your breath down. And start to send it deep into your belly. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna start counting and we're gonna inhale for six and exhale for six. We'll just do a few rounds, just so you know how it feels and you can do it yourself as well. When you're ready, you're just inhaling through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Now just breathing normally. And you can keep your hands here if you want, or you can just relax your hands down. And we're just gonna do a few connected breaths now. Now usually, um, I do this through the mouth, but if you're out and about, you don't want to be doing this through the mouth. You want to be breathing through your nose at all other times. But I like to do this breath exercise through the mouth that just really connects you to your body. And when you're breathing through your nose, it connects you to your mind a bit more. So that's why it's nice to do through the mouth. But just make sure um, you're just in a safe environment and you're seated or laid down. So if it helps, you can have a hand on the chest and a hand on the belly. And what we're going to do is just connect our breath. So you can just imagine a wheel and you're going to inhale on the wheel all the way up. And then you're going to exhale on the way down, all the way down the wheel. Now the wheel is connected. So that exhale then goes into the inhale and the inhale then goes into the exhale. So it's just this full flowing kind of continuous loop of breath of inhale to exhale, exhale to inhale. We'll just do a a few rounds of this as well. So when you're ready, again, closing your eyes down. And you're gonna take a lovely deep inhale. And exhale. So make sure you're not pausing between that inhale and that exhale. 
and just keep imagining that wheel in your mind's eye of that inhale to exhale, inhale to exhale. So just keeping that breath going just while I'm talking and just feeling really connected now, connected to your breath, connected to your body. making sure you feel that breath in your belly as well. Hopefully the exercises we, we did just a moment ago, that hug breath has really helped you get the breath into the belly. So just making sure you've got that breath down there as well as in the chest, that whole barrel of your breath. I'm feeling really safe and really calm. If you're laid down, just imagine the earth just coming up and just holding you, making you feel really secure, really grounded, grounded in your body. Just keep that breath connected, really filling your body with the energy of that inhale. And then that letting go of the exhale. So really letting go, no forcing the air on the exhale. Just a soft sigh of letting go with the exhale. And perhaps just thinking about something you might want to let go of, something you might have been holding on to this week or today. And just imagine just letting go of that on that exhale. And now thinking about some gratitude. So keep that breath going, keep that circle going. And then start to think about sending yourself some gratitude. So maybe think of three things that you'd like to send yourself gratitude. And one of those things could be your health. I think we often think of gratitude to sending to other people, which is lovely, but perhaps today think about three things you'd like to send gratitude to yourself. and keep that breath going the whole time. And what springs to mind for you? And it's nice on the inhale to say, I am in your head. And then on the exhale, what it is you're sending gratitude to yourself for. So I am loved. I am grateful. What is it you need? What would you like to thank yourself for? I am healthy. I am happy. I am joyful. I am complete. I am worthy. Just fill in the gap for you, I am. Just coming back to your normal nasal breath. I'm just going to rub your hands together, just create some energy and warmth. Just put them over your eyes, back of your head, bottom of your neck, and on your heart. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Take care, see you soon. Bye bye.